lovely ones, it's Ethany and I have an unboxing video for you all today. It is Colette Baron Reed's Spirit Animal Oracle and this is a, another deck she's done with the beautiful Jenna Della Grottiglia. Uh, I know that they've got another two coming out next year. One is a goddess deck and another one is a crystal deck and I adore Jenna's artwork so much. I'm loving seeing their collaboration. Um, this is a Oracle deck. It has 68 cards. It is published by Hay House and I've had it for a little while and I've been holding off uh, because I like to unbox them and before I work with them. So I'm very excited to swap cameras and go through these cards with you today. Okay, so now we're going to go through the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed, which is... Um, one of her new Oracle decks published by Hay House. Now I did that. I scratched, I was trying to open it with um, scissors to get into it and I, I knew that was gonna happen today. So, <laughs> done that to many a box, thank goodness, um, not the cards itself. So it does come in a, uh, which is my favorite, um, the Bad Witches Tarot comes in this, the clamshell. The spirits, residing in the natural world have so much to share and their secrets of their forgotten language are now available to you. So it sits in this beautiful box with a ribbon. The abundant universe will provide. Hay House has always done a pretty good job with their boxes. Um, like even though I scratched it, I'm, I'm never really worried about my decks getting kind of ruined or messed up. Oh, pop it over there, a little plant, a beautiful little plant. So we have a nice thick guidebook. Colette Baron Reed does tend to give us some juicy stuff to work with and I am gonna go through it um, at the end of the, the end of the walkthrough. Now I am a real fan of this color palette. I love pastels um, quite a bit. Um, and I love this back. Now Hay House has stopped guilting their decks. Um, I don't know why, but they have. Now the, that's actually, that paper has brought up the edges of that, which is a bit of a shame, but beautiful backing though. I've seen beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay, Ant Spirit, time to collaborate. Antelope spirit, life is speeding up. I love animal decks and going, oh, I wonder what animal is going to like pop up and what animal is going to be left out. And these, because there are just so many um, and the message, right? Armadillo, something you don't see in a lot of decks. Set healthy boundaries. Always good to have a nice reminder to set healthy boundaries. This badger is killing me. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. Bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Bee spirit, sweet results await. Jinxies! Love bees. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. Brown bear spirit, take time out. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. She has the same mantra on the box. Butterfly, gorgeous. Transformation is beautiful. Canary spirit, sing your own song. And I used to play the flute. Well, I can still play the flute. I just can't play it as well as I used to and I'm not in a band or don't do any lessons anymore. But I play the flute in, in all the way through school. Cat spirit, claim your independence. I like this one, chameleon. Act as if. The colors that are gorgeous too. Cow spirit, the miracles are endless.
Coyote Spirit trusts in divine detours. Crow Spirit co-create with Spirit. Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. Dog Spirit, be loyal to what you love. Love Dolphins. Dolphin Spirit, this and that are true. Dove Spirit, be peace. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. Eagle spirit, spirit has your back. So as you can see, there's lots of mandalas. Ooh, electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. Now, I don't think I have ever seen the electric eel in a oracle deck. It's the first time I've seen it. Maybe it's in the... um. Laura Brown's one, her saltwater oracle, but I don't own that one. Um, there's lots of mandalas and in the background of, of these this artwork from um, Jenna. Elephant Spirit, learn from the past. Flamingo Spirit, embrace the in-between. Fox Spirit, think on your feet. I love frogs. Frog spirit, clean out the clutter. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Grasshopper spirit, Jimmy Cricket, take the leap of faith. For me, it'll always be about being your consciousness, right? Your conscious. <clears throat> I can't help it. <clears throat> I was uh, Disney, Disney all the way as a kid. Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. Hawk Spirit, let Spirit be your guide. Horse Spirit, freedom is yours. Hummingbird, what a beautiful card. Not a surprise, like purple is my favorite color. Be here now. I love hummingbirds. I remember seeing them everywhere in Peru and just being like in awe because I don't see them very much otherwise. Koala spirit, spirit has a plan. Another one I don't see a lot, koi fish spirit, there's always enough in a lot of decks. Lion spirit, be generous of spirit. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Moth Spirit, Surrender Now. Beautiful card, the colours. The colours in this deck are just so gorgeous. They're so inviting. Mouse Spirit, Tend to the Small Things. Nightingale Spirit, Love is All Around. Another one I don't see a lot of. My favourite so far, the Otter Spirit. Even over the bee, may, or maybe equal to the bee, You Are Never Alone. Oh my God, that is so cute. Otters, I, I can't even, I can't even, they're just so cute. Owl spirit, you see clearly now. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Parrot spirit, watch your words. They can often get repeated back to you, especially by small little humans. <laughs> Peacock spirit, let it shine. Oh, piggy spirit. I haven't seen this in a lot of decks either. Use your mind wisely. Oh, I'm a year of the pig. I feel you, pig. I feel you, pig spirit. Porcupine spirit. Time for beginner mind. What a beautiful card. Like, sometimes you can forget that everyone begun somewhere and we may be overcomplicating things or we may need to relearn basics and get back to roots. Rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. Sandpiper spirit, be playful. 
scarab beetle spirit magic works through you gorgeous seahorse spirit watch and wait <laughs> skunk spirit know your worth for me it's like clear the room <laughs> They are cute, but oh my gosh, there is, I don't think there's any way to be able to describe what a skunk smells like. The snake spirit, time to heal. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. Terrified of spiders, but I can hold that, that's fine. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Stag spirit, take the lead, and this is the cover of this Deccan book. Starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. Swan spirit time to, for a deep dive. Turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace. Turtle spirit slow and steady wins the race. I love sea turtles. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. Wasp is another one I don't see a lot of. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings, don't adjust. Whale spirit, trust the great mystery. I love whales. It's just the soul of the earth, soul of Gaia. White raven spirit, trust in the magic. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. <laughs> Wombat spirit, be at home. Wombats are really cute. They're really smelly and they're really big. And if you hit one with a car, not that I ever have, but like they're like built like bricks. Um, and they're grumpy things, but they're, they are cute. Alrighty. So it has that beautiful um, matte laminate that most um, Hay House decks now have. And it is a 350 GSM cardstock, so it's nice, sturdy cardstock. So now I'm going to shuffle and then pick a card. And it's a standard card size for a house. One spirit, time for a deep dive, number 60. And then we'll have a look at what Time for a deep dive, oracle message. With graceful long necks, swans are able to reach the depths. When swan spirit arrives, you're called to take a deep dive beyond what is easily available on the surface. Then we have um, the oracle message, the protection message. Don't talk yourself into deep Diving deep into something just because you see the potential of things instead of what they really are now. The necessary work and patience involved may not be the best use of your energy. So we've got two different we've got two different sides of um, the message. So that's what you get for each one of the animals. Let's have a look at what's at the beginning. Yeah. So we have. Welcome Seeker, Introduction and How to Work with the Spirit Animal Oracle, and then it goes straight into the meanings and about the author and about the artist. And it is in alphabetical order for ease, Welcome Seeker, Introduction, Why the Deck, How the Cards Work, About the Animals and Their Meanings, so it talks about the spirit animal oracle as a metaphor or symbolic representation to remind you of a theme or organizing principle. And then how to work with the spirit animal oracle, card spreads, one card, two card, three cards, and then seven card new moon reading. And then a message from your from the cards. And then we go into this, to the meanings. So I like I said, I've 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 seen some of this deck around on social media. I love I love the backs, I think it's a, gonna be a beautiful way to close out a reading. 
I really enjoy uh, Colette's work. Um, and I will pop a link as to where you can get this deck. It is published by Hay House, so it's pretty easily available. And as always, thank you so much for watching.